Hello everybody, this is the last notebook that I included in the Quantly Python cookbook and it's based on a question asked on a Quantly mailing list thanks to the, the original poster. So let's say we're pressing an option and uh, well, I'll go through the initialization without uh, commenting much since uh, I covered this already. It's a European option with uh, strike 100 and there's a size date uh, three months from today. So we'll need the process to, 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 to price this. So I'll set up handles for the curves we need and uh, the, the quote we have, uh, the current underlying value, the risk free rate and uh, the volatility. We build a black shows process with that. Uh, and uh, based on this process, I'm going to instantiate two different tangents. The first one uses the analytic black shows formula and the second uses, well, again, based on the black shows process, of course, a finite difference model. So here we go. I will use uh, constant curves for both uh, the risk free rate and the volatility, so flat forward for uh, the risk free rate uh, at, uh, well, I'll put it at zero for, for simplicity and 20% uh, volatility again constant for the volatility both uh, with the same day count convention for turning dates into times in this case actual 365 fixed with this setup we can try the two engines I'll set first the analytic one and then get this MPV the second one gives me the same MPV well up to the fourth decimal value so this is due to that to the accurate to the uncertainty of the of the discretization what's the problem and uh, what was the question that prompted this this uh, notebook it uh, might happen well it uh, happens fairly often that the volatility is quoted with uh, a different day, con day count convention for instance it might have been 20 percent but with a according to a business 252 day count convention. If uh, I create uh, the constant vol curve with this value and convention, well, we are not so lucky. If, uh, well, I'm linking uh, the, the sigma in the process uh, to, the, to the new curve, uh, so the, 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 the process and the engines are notified, the analytic engine gives a different MPV now, so 4.05 as, as opposed to 4.00. The final difference engine, though, doesn't seem to react. This is not a problem in the, in the notification code. So the, the, the final difference engine does know that uh, the, the the curve has changed and uh, recalculates. However, due to the uh, this mm, is an is a is an accident uh, of the of the implementation. The uh, final difference models which with which uh, discretizes a process over a grid, uh, a grid in time and space, can't really account uh, or if it can, it it uh, it's very difficult to do. For, for curves with different day count conventions. So we have uh, one single time grid, which is the one of the, the one of the, of the, uh, the final difference model. And uh, so one single way to turn dates into, into times. In, uh, well, it just so happened that uh, the current implementation of the final difference engine uses the day counter from the risk free rate to perform this convention. This means that, uh, well, we're not getting the correct, uh, the correct uh, value because what the, if we uh, went and looked into the code, we would see that uh, the, what the, 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 the final difference engine does is like uh, asking the query for the volatility at the exercise date and we get 20% correctly. However, the exercise date on the curve is calculated according to the day counter 
of the exercise time, sorry, on the, uh, on the grid is calculated from the exercise date according to the day counter of the risk rate, actual 365 in this case, and this gives us a variance at the, at the exercise time with, with this value. This is not the correct one since if we ask the, the volatility curve for its variance at the exercise date and this internally is calculated with the, the day counter of the curve itself, so the correct day counter, we get a different value for the, for the variance. What to do? In this case, uh, having, uh, well, first, having assessed the problem, second, having a constant volatility, we can kind of work around the problem. So we can uh, go in, invert the calculation, we can given the variance, this variance at the exercise date, we can calculate the corresponding volatility according to the, to the time, to the actual 365 time. And once we have that, which is not 20%, it's 20.2, we can use this value to build a volatility curve, well, a synthetic volatility curve, if you, if you, if you like, which has this value of the volatility and uh, the same day counter as the, as the uh, risk-free curve. If we use this uh, volatility, then we get uh, the correct, uh, well, the analytic value, which stays the same for the analytic uh, engine. We get the same value also for the final difference option. So this, uh, well, it is a workaround, it works in this case, it's much more difficult to put in place if you have a, a curve which is time dependent or, well, even worse, if you have a curve which, with uh, some kind of smile. So it's not something that, that you can always do. Unfortunately, that's kind of intrinsic in the, in the, in the finite difference method. As I said, uh, there is uh, one uh, time grid, one time and space grid for, for the met that the method works on and over which the process is, uh, is discretized. So I don't have uh, a general solution for that. You have to be aware of the problem and, uh, well, do whatever you can and in doubt look at the implementation of the curve of the, of the engine and, uh, and see what it does. And, uh, well, this was all for this notebook and for this series of notebooks, as I mentioned, uh, this was the last one I have uh, included in the Quantly Python cookbook, so it's kind of a season finale. And, uh, well, I don't exclude, uh, I'll do more notebooks in the future, but, uh, well, it's, uh, it's, uh, we'll see what happens. For the time being, I'll, uh, goodbye and thanks for listening. Bye.